In this, in this lesson 1-7, we're going to cover algebra equations. By the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to solve for a variable mentally, and you're going to be able to solve word problems by defining a variable. And here's our vocabulary for today. Equation, solution, solving an equation, and defining a variable. So maybe our first question is, what is an equation? Basically, an equation is a sentence using numbers that contains two expressions that are separated by an equal sign. Those two expressions can either be a variable or they could be a number, but they have to have an equal sign in them. So let me give you an example of what an equation is. We could have seven equals eight minus one because we have the equal sign and we have two expressions, eight minus one, we have this side over here, eight minus one, separated by the equal sign from the seven over on this side. So this is an example of an expression. I'll give you another example. Three times four equals 12. This is an equation because we have an equal sign here and we have, and it's separating this side from this side over here. Um, a solution to an equation is the numerical value or the number for the va variable that makes this sentence true. So we could have 3x equals 21. The solution here is what makes x, what number makes x, what can be the value of x to make this equation true? And that is known as the solution. And the process that we go through in order to figure out what x can be, that's called solving an equation. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to solve a few equations, but we're going to solve these mentally. Later on, we're going to do some lessons where we're going to solve them algebraically, but right now we're just going to solve them mentally. Here's our first example. We have to solve this equation. 18 equals 14 plus m. So that means we have to figure out what is m, what could m be, what number could m be in order to make this true. So in other words, what number can you add, I know add because add the addition sign right here, what number can I add to 14 in order to make it 18? Well, let's see, what numbers could I put in? In other words, 14 plus what number equals 18? Hmm. Well, 14 plus 4 is 18. Let's give that a try. I'm going to substitute in what I think the solution can be for m. So that means I'm going to say 18 equals 14 plus 4. Now I'm going to go and check. 14 plus 4 is 18 equals 18. Hey, that's true. That's a true statement. So that must mean that m equals 4. I figured it out. And all I did was just think about what I thought what number can make that this equation true? Let's give another one a try. P minus 5 equals 20. So in other words, what number minus 5 equals 20? Let me think about this. What number minus 5 equals 20? That means I need a number bigger than 20. Hmm. Well, 25 minus 5 equals 20. So let's check, check that one out. So 25 minus 5 equals 20. Let's do the math. 25 minus 5 is 20 equals 20. Hey, that's a true statement. 20 does equal 20. So that must mean P equals 25. There's my answer. So that's solving these mentally, these equations. And as I mentioned, later on we're going to um, do some lessons where we solve these using the algebraic, algebraic properties. Our next example that we're going to do is we're going to define the variable. In other words, we're going to choose a variable to represent some sort of unknown quantity in order to write e an equation, and then we're going to go through and we're going to solve that equation. So here's our example. It says, each winter humpback whales migrate 1,500 miles to the Indian Ocean. However, one whale migrated 5,000 miles in one season. How many miles further than normal did this whale travel? So I'm going to write an equation that's going to allow us to solve for how many miles farther this whale traveled than normal. So the first bit of information that I have here is 
that humpback whales migrate 1,500 miles. That's the normal distance that humpback whales travel. I also have this other information here that one whale migrated 5,000 miles in one season. And so our final question here is, how many miles further did the normal did this one whale travel? So in order to figure this out, I could kind of think about this as how far whales migrate. So this first bit of information, um, normal migration plus however miles, many miles farther they traveled is going to be equal to this farthest distance, this one whale, this farthest migration. Well, that I kind of wrote out in words, right? So I can say, think of the normal migration of a whale plus however many miles farther that one whale is going to travel is going to be equal to the farthest migration of that one whale. I wrote this out in words. This isn't very useful for us for math. So let's see if I could do this in another way. Let me take the information that we have and substitute it into this big long equation I wrote out in words. So the normal migration I have right here. 1,500 miles. So 1,500 plus the miles farther. That's the part that we don't know because that's the question part. So I, that means I could put a variable in. I'm going to define a variable that represents the, the um, miles farther than the, than the normal distance traveled. I'm going to put a variable in there and I'm going to pick M. You could pick any letter you want, but I'm going to pick M. So 1,500 plus however many miles farther it traveled is going to be equal to the farthest migration. And the farthest migration is 5,000 miles. We get that from the problem. So now I'm just going to go about solving it. I'm going to think to myself, OK, 1,500 plus what number is going to be equal to 5,000? Well, I know that m has to be less than 5,000. So let me think. Oh, I know that maybe 3,500 plus 1,500 is going to equal 5,000. Let me give that a try. So 1,500 plus 3,500 equals 5,000. And let me check. 1,500 plus 35, 15,000 plus 30, sorry, 1,500 plus 3,500 is going to be 5,000. Hey, look, that worked. So that means the the um, this one whale migrated 3,500 miles farther than a regular humpback whale migrates in one year. So that means I can write m is equal to 3,500 miles. Remember, I'm going to make sure I label this. And there we go. I've defined a variable right here, m. And I've used m in order to solve this equation to figure out how much farther this one whale traveled in this one year. So that's it. That's all for um, solving for um, variables mentally. And that's it for solving um, word problems by defining a variable.